In this session, we are going to derive Frodensian equation. This equation is an analytical method to synthesize a four-bar mechanism if three set of input and three set of output angles are given. Here we can consider a four-bar mechanism A, B, C and D with theta as the input angle and phi as the output angle. Here the length of AB is A, BC is B, CD is C and AD is represented as D where AD is the fixed length. So we are going to the derivation. Here we are going to consider the displacement at point C along X axis and along Y axis. First consider displacement along X axis at point C. So we can see that uh, let consider I have made some construction. Let consider this point as BX, this point as BY and this point as CX. So displacement along X axis. We can say that a b x plus b b y will be equal to a d plus d c x d c x so a b x is can be defined as a cos theta b b y can be defined as b cos beta and uh, c uh, sorry d c x can be defined as c cos phi and AD which is the uh, length D. So we can write here at here as A cos theta plus B cos beta will be equal to AD is D plus C cos phi. Okay. So I am rearranging the equation as B cos beta is equal to D plus C cos phi minus a cos theta. So I am squaring this equation. Squaring this equation become b cos square beta will be equal to squaring this whole equation as a plus b plus c whole square we get d square plus c square cos square phi plus a square cos square theta plus 2 dc cos of phi minus 2 ad cos of theta minus 2 ac cos theta cos phi. This is our first equation point C along y axis. So we can say uh, b bx plus b bx plus c by c b y will be equal to c c x so b b x is a sin theta c by v, b c b y is equal to b sin beta will be equal to c c x c sin phi rearranging the equation as b sin beta is equal to a sin uh, sorry c sin phi minus a sin theta. Uh, the squaring the equation b square sin square beta will be equal to this is a minus b whole square form that is c square sin square phi plus a square sin square theta minus 2 ac sin theta sin phi. This is our second equation. So here I have written the two equation that is displacement along x axis and displacement along y axis. So on the left hand side you can see b square cos square beta and b square sin square beta. So I am going to add one and equation one and two. So cos square beta plus sin square beta is equal to one. So the left hand side will be b square along. And solving for the right hand side first it's d square. So here no, uh, on the equation, second equation, there is nothing to compare. So I am writing, writing it as d square. Then comes c square sin square phi and c square cos square phi. Say uh, cos square plus sin square phi equal to 1. So it will be c square. C happens here also. So plus a square minus uh, plus 2 dc cos phi minus 2 ad cos theta 
and here you can see there is a minus 2ac minus 2ac common so i am writing as minus 2ac cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi so this term can be reduced to cos of theta minus phi or cos of phi minus theta both are same so i am uh, taking this term to the left side and b squared to the right side so the equation become 2ac cos theta minus phi will be equal to a square plus b square sorry a square minus b square plus c square plus d square plus 2 dc cos phi minus 2 ad cos of theta okay now i am going to divide the whole equation by 2 ac so the equation becomes cos of theta minus phi is equal to a square plus so a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2 ac plus 2 dc divided by 2 ac it becomes d by a cos phi minus 2 ad divided by 2 ac become d by c cos theta so rearranging the equation cos theta minus phi equal to d by a cos phi minus d by c cos theta plus a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2 ac the equation is again reduced to theta minus phi cos of theta minus phi is equal to k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 where k1 is equal to d by a k2 is equal to d by c and k3 equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2 ac so this comes the equation of frodenstein equation and you have to draw the four bar mechanism showing all the linked length as a b c and d and theta as the input angle and phi as the output angle so uh, the combining these two equation along with the figure gives the frodenstein equation thank you